So you are away. Good, good, good. No, no, no. Do not be fearful of me. I am to help, not to hurt. I am friend. Oh, uh, uh, who? What? Uh, who are you? My name is Alec, and I will help you if you ask. Whew. Well, you gave me a start, Eric. But tell me, what is this place? And why have I been locked up? And how long have I... Now let me tell. This is bad place for you. This is bad place, because the Dark Ones, they are not mercy filled. The Dark Ones? Who are the Dark Ones? Ah, the four evils. They prison you here. You must be of big importance for them to lock you all up. But Eric will lose you. You just wait and see. You see, I told you I could help. Already, I have lost you from your prison cell. Thank you, Iraq. But tell me, why am I here in this this godforsaken place? No, Iraq does not know. But there are others, others that you will meet. They will be much more knowledge. Now come, come quickly. You have much to do. Oh, look, look, look there. You have an earthly guide. They are said to be very cleverish indeed. An earthly guide? Yes, yes. Look, they're on the other side. Whoa. Wow. Well, now I must leave you. Uh, but first... It's a gift. Take it. Oh, uh, no, 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 really. You don't have to, honestly. But I insist. You never know. It might be just of usefulness later. Well, uh, okay. Thank you, Iraq. Now I go. But I will be keeping eyes upon you. Well. Okay, so you're my earthly guide. Mm. Now what? See you up there. I'm a young man, you went I must say, you know, what makes you stuck up here like this? Be any idea that I've been hanging around in this soldier kid of times. Where could you have a gun to think of it? You have up here, but it's like day after day, day after night. You're sitting here. Well, coach, I do try and justify myself. I did a little bit of thinking if you get stood and you can see this laying on the on the floor there. Oh, and sometimes I like to start counting the bugs. It looks like a little bug scroll and I can't think that keeps going, you know that sort of thing. Oh, and I do like to look up the ceiling there. And pretend I'm looking at the stars, you know, I like the constellations, I like the Orion, which is in this little bit of a 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 little bit
things like this, uh, imagine I'm laying on the beach, and the waves come in like that, and I might even go and uh, get some shellfish, or some fluff, some jets, some yes, or some kind of winkles, I love winkles, see winkles, children in there. Hello? I say, hello? Huh? What? So, oh, I'm sorry, I think I must have nodded off. Oh, that's all right. Don't you mind me. It must be exhausted for our thing. What about that rain in the main cell and hoisting up the anchor and swabbing the poop deck or whatever it is. Something I'll see do out there. Well, so tell me, what are you doing up there anyway? Oops. Oh, bugger. Hang on a sec. Wait a minute. Ah, that's better. Now, what were you saying? I was asking why you're hanging up there in the cage. Well, now you see, he put me up here, didn't he? He said I was putting him off his food. Son. Who said you were putting him off his food? Oh, that big lump of a night bunker. He's a gal around here, you know. So, what exactly were you doing to put him off his food? Ah, well, to be quite honest with you, I do think it may have been me bodily donations. Sorry? Well, you know, my sort of adiverous regulars. What? Well, we can be bloody. I stink. Mind you, he's got some room to talk. He's awful flatulent. He grabs her and eats me. Oh, I see. I wondered what that smell was for. Ah, well, you see, it's this body of mine. It's still a bit fresh, really. And as I'm sure you're aware, being this tea bearing chappy like yourself, the competition will not be rushed on his neither's journey. Well, he lost me. Hmm. I wonder where the end of that rope goes. Do you know if I could find it? Maybe I could lower you down. Oh, that would be wonderful. You know, I've almost been going to the field of the terror bell. I don't know where that rope's tied to. Well, I'll have a little look round and see if I can't find the end of that rope for you. I'm trying to think what else we'll find. Well, good luck then. No, and you be careful, say your boy, won't you? Now, is it me? Or have I just had a conversation with a corpse? Okay. said that. Show yourself. Silence. You fool. Otherwise we'll both be in for it. Okay, okay. But um, exactly where are you? Psst. Down here. At the Master's feet. As I always am. Oh. Hello. Do not wake my master. He gets very angry. Hmm. He does look a bit of a handful. Oh. Believe me, he is. I was a fine figure of a man, but then I thought she woke him before dinner, and look at me now. Hmm, can't be much fun, I'm sure, being ahead and all. I can assure you it is, huh? All he does is sleep and eat. Some jail, huh? Mind you, he is very adept at decapitation. Look what happened, and I woke him. Okay, okay, I get the message. I'll keep the noise down. Uh, I don't suppose you know how I can get out of this place, do you? Hmm. Let me think. Trink, trink, trink. Ah, yeah, of course. I remember now. Ouch. Ooh, are you okay? You kidding? After all this time, I'm used to it. Oh, good. So, um, are you going to tell me? Tell you what? How to get out of here. You were going to tell me. What? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, now let me.
we see. Uh, you see the master also key to the dungeon. If you can get it from him, without him waking, you will be free. Uh, but if he should wake, well, I don't think I need to explain. And that's your help, is it? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. They call me Ed. Ed the Head. Ah, I'm good, aren't I? Hey, wait! Now listen, don't be so impatient. My master is not yet evil. Perhaps you could find a way of increasing the potency of his daily group, if you know what I mean. Ah, like a Mickey Finn. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't know one of that name, but you yourself might try. Shall we say, uh, a sleeping draft? Oh right, very clever. When you have the crawl, return here with it and place it next to me. I will wake my master, as I always do, and the crawl will do the rest. <laughs> well, it's not much, but at least it's a plan. Well, good, now go. And remember, the stronger the crawl, the better. <laughs> well... I think we'll just play along and hopefully we'll wake up for this nightmare soon. Okay. Now there's a surprise. I don't get much company down here. Well, you wouldn't, would ya? <laughs> now come close to me, lad, and let me get a good look at you. Well, what do you think? Shall I? Oh, well, in for a penny. So, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, who are you? Oh, faggot's the name, and cooking's me game. <laughs> And my, what a fine yield of flesh you appear to be! <laughs> yield of flesh, madam. I will have it be known that I am Benjamin Spooner Briggs, captain of the Brigadine Mary Celeste. Hmm, captain, eh? Sounds very grand. I'll have to look that one up. Never done a captain before. Hmm, might have to check me books. Now, excuse my ignorance, but when you say... I'm a captain. Look this up and check my books. Uh, what exactly do you mean? Well, you'll have to be cooked off, won't you? Can't serve your roll now, can I, Briggsy, me lad? <laughs> cook me? Why on earth would you want to cook me? Well, it's my job, you see. Any of you lost souls that should happen into me kitchen a fair game for Grunger's crew. Ah. But I'm not actually a lost soul. I'm a mortal man. What? Alive? Living? Not yet dead? I'm afraid so. Oh, my word. Now what are to do? I'm not sure as the rules are cooking up mortal men. Poor young Grunger. Wager he'd never forgive his old man. I'll bet he spit you out so fast you'd hit the furthest wall. Well, perhaps I could help. What is it you need? Well, I'm not too sure, really. I knows. Why don't you runs off and find me something nice, tasty? Ooh, I'm dead. Uh, okay. I'll see what I can do. Best you do, my lad. Well, off with you. Young Grunger will want to have his feed soon. Nice rump, though. Shame you're a mortal, Briggsy, me lad. <laughs> Do not say a bloody word. Okay. Right, 
Thank you are. Okay, excellent. Okay. Now you be careful. I'm not happy about carrying this, but if you're sure. Us mortals, we do have feelings, you know. What I needed. I do love the drop of the hard stuff. <coughs> God, bloody hell, that's got a kick to it. <sighs> that's much better. Oh, ta very much. <sniffs> that's better. Fancy a taste, lovey. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, but I need to be quick. Excellent. Excellent. So you are here at last. So who are you? I, young man, am the keeper of lost souls. You have done well to get this far. What is this place? To some, this is home. To others, it is a halfway house between their world and the next. This is the keep of lost souls. So tell me, am I dead? Dead? Why no? You are the walker between worlds. Destiny's weapon against fate. The Chosen One. Chosen One? Chosen to do what, exactly? <gasps> what the...? Yeah. Let me give you this. Sorry about that. Don't know what came over me. Well, why am I here? If I'm not dead. Only you and your earthly guide there can answer that. Now, choose a welcome gift and be off with you. We will meet again. That I am sure of. It looks like we're out of the dungeons. Ah, look at that. While well, someone still likes to keep pets, even in this horrible place. Hello? Is anyone out there? Sleep? Phew. They really look hungry. If only I could find something to feed them with. 
Hmm. Tell you what, where's new mates when you need him, huh? <laughs> Yes, it is indeed, and oh, it's so nice to see you again, sailor boy. You know, you're like a knight in shining armor, you are. No, you really are. I tell you what, though, oh, do me a favour, would you take this bloody thing away from me? It's been digging in my entrails for days and days. Well, what is it? Well, bless my soul, or someone else's, I don't rightly know. And to be honest, I do not care. I'm just glad to be free again and shot of that bloody thing. Oh, I see, but... No, no, bye-bye then, sailor boy. Stretch for miles. More wooden walkways. Ah! I see your earthly guide is of much usefulness. And still, you are keeping two of your leg limbs. This is good thing. Irak? What are you doing up there? Keeping eyes for crunchy crawlies. Crunchy crawlers. A gift for a gift, perhaps. Ah, but now I must go. I wonder what he meant by that. Oh, for the tears of the poor, where did I put that bloody tank? I don't know. I lose myself. And can I find me? No. Hello? Hello? I saw you in there. What? Go away. I'm far too busy. No visitors, no. Not until I find myself. I need to talk to you. Go away. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Myself. Now, what have I done with myself? 
Onega say. Mm. Well, I think this one is past caring. Hello. Uh, I think this might belong to you. What? Oh, me life. You've only gone and found me. Come in, my friend. Come on in now. Thank you, young man. I tell you, I was beside myself with worry, so I was. Well, as a matter of fact, I wasn't beside myself, if you get me meaning. <laughs> uh, what actually is it? Oh, did myself miss me? I missed me. I did, I did miss me. You're just like a little piece of the Emerald Oil, so yeah. What? Oh, oh, I'm begging your pardon there now. What was the question? I said, what is it? What's in the bottle? You don't know, you say? Ah, strange that a lost soul such as yourself doesn't know a bottled soul when he sees one. It's me, me soul. Ah, bless me soul. Now everything here has a soul bottle. Well, except the soulless ones, of course. The keeper, you see, he'll be the man that gives it to you when you enter the place. Mine is very old and very precious to me, myself and I. Oh, I see. Now, where's yours, I wonder? Yes, soul. Oh, mine? Mine's very safe. Very, very safe. Ah, well, no, that's good. A precious thing is the soul and there are some around these parts that will do anything for a fresh one. You see, I have myself a good collection of lost souls. Take a look. Wow. What do you plan to do with them? Do with them? Why nothing? I found them on me travels. I collect anything from anyone. Now, Maybe one day they will be reclaimed by their rightful owners. Ah, but until then, I will keep them. Safe. Hmm. So you know this place quite well then? Ah, that I do. Every nook and every cranny. Ah, cranny, yes. I've met her. A nice woman. She smells a bit. I beg your pardon, sir? Ah, uh, never mind. Well, thank you again. Now, Feel free to browse, and if you want something, then just ask. No touching. You bring me to the nicest places. It smells very damp down here. Not more tunnels. Mmm, impressive. Ah! <laughs> 
his flesh. I get his liver. You're gonna die. Eat his flesh. You're gonna die. Uh, do excuse me. I was just... Go. Away. I wonder if you could help me to get out of here. Go. Away. Black Hawk trust no one. Black Hawk only trust birds. Birds, Black Hawk's friends. Black Hawk. Is that what they call you? That's a good name. Black Hawk. That bird up there is really annoying. Raven. He never stop. He annoy Black Hawk very much. Maybe I could help. How? Oh, I know this one. How? No. How you help. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Well, I don't have a plan just yet. But give me some time and I will come up with something. Oh, not good. You no idea. I will help you, Black Hawk. This I promise. Pale face speak with forked tongue. But if you help Black Hawk, then Black Hawk trade with pale face. Black Hawk, my friend, I give you my word as captain of the Mary Celeste. Black Hawk, hold you to your word. Okay. We really do need a plan to sort out that bloody bird. Many thanks, friend. Take this as memento of our meeting. Oh, oh, thank you, Black Hawk. But really, there's no need for. Shh. No buts. Now, go. Do you know what? Every gift tells a story. Okay. Okay.
old faithful, eh? Faithful, eh? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. A man's fate should be more than this. I wonder who built this. Phew, what a stink. And before you say it, it isn't me. I wonder what we'll find next. Mm, lovely. Anisicus Cellus. And what a lovely specimen you are. Hello, little fella. I will give you a new home and call you Oscar. <coughs> Excuse me. What? Oh, I say, we have a visitor. How lovely. Oh, what the... Oh, sorry, I forgot. Hang on. Do not be afraid. Is that better? <laughs> I've seen it all now. What? What's wrong? Ah, that's better. Let me introduce myself. I am Sir Jonathan Rothbottom, but everybody calls me Bugsy. Because of my work, you see. Ah, nice to meet you. I'm Captain Benjamin Spooner Briggs. Most people call me Oi Oi Captain, or Captain for short. Must be because of my work. Ah, yes, I see. Well, actually, I don't. Not since I had that beast attack me. Bad tempered thing that he is. Beast? What beast? Ah, a hybrid creation of mine. I like to call it a wood gator. I'm sorry, a what? Wood gator, my lad. Sorry, Captain. A beastie that lives for wood. Loves it, he does. Cannot get enough of it. If he smells it, then watch out. Nothing stops him. Nothing, I tell you. So, if this wood gator eats wood, then why go for your eyes? Well, I was working away down here, and suddenly the floorboards above me started to creak. Some fool must have tried to walk over them. I wish people would just read the sign. Anyway, the wood dust rained down into my eyes and, well, I'm sure you can imagine the rest. Well, the little rascal will not hurt anyone anymore. I have him locked up in a room not far from here. Hmm. Well, it's been lovely chatting to you, but now I really must get on. Feel free to look around, but please, no touching.
This place is huge. Sick of it now, Captain of Pirates. It's all right for you. You don't have to carry it. Okay. Seeing as it's not moving now, I am not a happy sailor, you know. I bet you're afraid of something. Well, maybe we'll find out, eh? Whatever that is, it doesn't seem too pleased to see us. If only we could understand what it was saying. Now, why don't you just... Um, I didn't think you'd want that bit translated. <laughs> Seeing is believing, eh? <laughs> okay, but, um, is this class to stealing?
favorite. Ah. <laughs> Here, you must take in exchange for gift. Ah, see you again, I will. Am I glad to be rid of that? I can hear running water in the distance. Let's hope it leads outside. Come on. Okay, okay. No need to be so rough. If you'd have asked me nicely, I would have given you those items anyway. certainly do with some of that. Oh, okay. Dice. Well, thank you. Baubles of luck and magic, eh? You are strange. Very strange. Trust me. Roll the dice. It will bring you luck. Ah, oh, well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hmm. Hang on. These dice are loaded. They always come up with the same numbers. Hmm. Now how's that going to help? Let me see if I can help you. Ah, that feels so good. It's been a while since I've been able to move with your well old speed. No problem. You're very welcome. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get your name. They call me Quagmire. Well, uh... Wagmire. 
Perhaps you can help me. How do I escape from this bloody swamp? What does that mean? I don't know, do I, you silly bugger? The last person that was trapped in here told me that. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, I think. Uh, tell you what, if you release me from these here miracles and this damn ball in the chain, I'll tell you the answer to the other two ways out. Okay, I'll um, see what I can do. Sailor boy, cooey. Oh no, not you again. Yes, I'm afraid it is me, sailor boy, and I was wondering if you could help me out of this bog. Oh, I suppose so, if I must. <sighs> Hurry up, Briggsy, shake a leg, get a move on. No, 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 no. Now look what you've done, you clumsy man! Ah! Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Mind you, you did say shake a leg. <laughs> no, that's all right, really. You know, I was feeling a little legless when I was thrown out of the inner sin and dumped in here. In of sin? Yes, it's a little place that some of us poor lost souls do like to frequent from time to time. Hmm. I'll keep an eye out for that place. Oh, yeah. oh. Here now, you take this. It's been digging in my back ever since I've been in that bleeding bog. Oh, okay, thanks. You know, that might come in handy. Well, thanks again then, sailor boy. Bye, bye. I expect I will see you soon. Oh, yeah. oh that's better. Not too soon, I hope. He gets worse every time we see him. Before you say it, it isn't me. Oh, yeah. My word, what is that? Bang, bang, bang on the door. Could you help me, please? I need your help. Come on, Vienne. Open the door. Oh, nine, nine, nine. I, I would be too worried. I would not sleep for a week. I mean you no harm. 
Please let me in. Oh, 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 nine, nine, nine. You must go away now, please. Oh, go on. Please. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. But only for a little while, yeah? Thank you, sir. So, uh, what is this place? This place? Why, this is the office of the warriors, and I am the very master, of course. Warriors? Yeah, I am here to worry about what the others are worrying about, you see. It's very simple. So, what are you worrying about? What he does? I don't have the time to worry about you worrying about me worrying about them. Now, I must get on. Well, can I just stand still and watch for a while? Oh, um, yeah, well, okay. But you must make a promise not to get in the way at all. Okay, I promise. Oh, dear, I am very worried about you. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Smells very damp down here.
be able to have a good stretch and scratch for ages. Anyway, the second answer you'll be after is when you add it all up, it's the only way to go. Uh? What? feelings, you know. Hello? I say, hello? Hello? I say, you there. Charming. <sighs> this man reeks of rum. He's as drunk as a skunk. of the Mary Mary who? Oh, never mind. Now who, should I dare ask, might you be? Not Teddy. Now clear off. Before I spit pits on ya. Okay, okay. I only wanted to say hello. Hmm. Well, we don't like strangers. But you seem kind of different. My name's Nora. Nora Ratty. Oh, uh, well, Nora, do you think you could help me get out of this stinking, smelly sewer? Smelly? It's my home. Besides, I don't smell a thing. Oh, well, worth a shot, then. Friends, that would be rats. Oh, thanks. That would be a great help. But if I ask you to help ya, what's in it for me? Well, what do you want? Uh, well, I like to drink. Now and again. Ah, okay, well, I'll do my best. Bring me a drop of grog. The army of furry friends will help you. Oh, my favourite! 
rock. When you're ready, whistle and be launching to your eye. Uh, but I can't whistle. What? You can't whistle? Well, that ain't my problem, is it? You figure it out. Oh, well. Now what do I do? It smells very damp down here. Oh, okay. Thanks. No problem, baby. Now go see me. I hope the advice be of some use to you in your quest. Whatever that might be. <laughs> I'm off now for a point. At the end of sin. Did I deserve one not to be knocked out all this time? Before you say it, it isn't me. Oh, yeah. It smells very damp down here. I wonder what we'll find next. 
Us mortals, we do have feelings, you know. You, uh, please take these from me. I did them from a friend of yours, and he's very, very worried about you. And I'm a little bit worried myself about being worried about your friend, being worried about you, being worried about this. And I want you to take it so I don't have to worry no more. Oh, thank you, but who? Bless me, a stranger here in Darkmere. Well now, that is a rare thing. A rare thing indeed. <laughs> and it seems to me, stranger, that you've got yourself into a spot of bother. Bother? What do you mean? I had nothing to do with that. Ah, for sure. But who'll believe you, hmm? But... Now, for the price of a dram, that'll be a coin in my tin to you. I could perhaps be of help. Well, yes, but... <sighs> well? Evening, sir. Care for a drink? It's on the house for strangers, if you know what I mean. No, not for me, thank you. 
I'd like to keep a clear head. You sure now, sir? It's all good, strong stuff. No, no, no. But thank you anyway. There's only one spirit I want at the moment. Well, if you change your mind later, you know where I am. I say, you there, stranger, why don't you join me? I'm very worried about him, you know. You see, he does not himself of late. I can't put me finger on it, but there is something decidedly odd about him. Something odd? Something odd about who? Well, the mayor, of course. <laughs> you see, I've been with him for such a time. <laughs> now, I could swear I knew his every foible. <laughs> but just of late, well... <laughs> <laughs> there he is! That's him! He's the soul taker! You do realise, of course, that I'm innocent. I've only just arrived in Darkmere. How could I possibly be this soul-taker creature? dare you, sir, to even offer such filth? <laughs> ah, because crutches and squirmies I smell. Arak, it's you. Arak it is, and once again you're all locked up. This is a bad thing. Yes, I know. Can you help? <laughs> ah, with wrigglies and crunchies and squirmies inside. <laughs> Perhaps Iraq might be finding such helpfulness in other places. Oh. <laughs> ah, now I go. All filled up. But soon, I will send some helpfulness. Thank you, Iraq. Ah, no need for thankfuls. It's a gift. This is an order for your release, signed by the mayor. It seems that you have friends in high places. Friends in high places? What friends? Mr. Onegus, no less. The mayor's own advisor. Seems he persuaded his worship that you were a fine and respectable person. More a returner of souls than a taker, he says. So, you're free to go. Excellent. But first, I'm going to escort you to the mayor's chambers, where his worship wishes a private word in your shell, I... After you, Mr. Detective. Is it me? Or did one of the mayor's eyes just sink lower than the other? Oh, come in. It seems we have done you a great injustice, my good fellow. My dear friend and trusted advisor, Onegus here tells me that you once found and returned his own soul intact. Is this true? It is, your worship. Onegus also tells me that you are a great silver of puzzles, a master of the enigma, and a finder of solutions. Is this also true? Well, I... Uh, 
it is that, sir, your worship. I've seen it with my own eyes and I've heard it with my own ears. A bit of a detective, I believe you might be calling him. In that case, Captain Briggs, I hereby bestow upon you the title Detective of Dark Mirror. Yes, but, but well, you see, I... Ah, uh, a grand title, your worship. And what about a nice badge to go with it? And perhaps a map so that the young fella might find his way around without too much fuss. Oh, and he'll need a notepad and a pen to list all those clues now, won't he? Well, I... Excellent thinking, Onegos. Now, go, detective. You have the freedom of dark mirror. Solve these crimes and let the good folk rest easy. Well, I'm not really sure if I can, you, you see. Unless, of course, you would rather return to your cell. That can be arranged quite easily. Mr. Briggs, sir, there's been another one. It be the deputy mayor. He's been found behind the jail. His soul has been taken. Well, Detective Briggs, what are you waiting for? Your first case awaits, and there is no time to waste. Now go, and go quickly. Ah, well. It's always nice to know we have a choice in these matters, don't you think? Hmm, interesting. It's Mr. Not Miss. Oh? Uh, what? You can't be my sister. I haven't even got a sister. No, not sister. Mister. I'm a man. Tan, you say? That's never a tan. It's more like a beard to me. Bit unsightly for a girl of your age. Do you have any rubbing paper and some charcoal? What'd you say? Caper in a dark hole? Still looks like a beard to me. Anyway, what is it you're after, miss? I think I'll just take a look round. Why don't you have a look around, dear? You might see something you like. Hello? Excuse me? Hello? I say, madam? Hello, I say, madam? Hello? I say, madam? Oh, what is the point? I'll just take the damn things and be done with it. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Good day to you, sir. How may I be of service? I was wondering, do you make the shoes for all of the people of Darkmere? Each and every one, sir. Leastwise, all those who deserve them. All individual designs and all my own work. I pride myself on the fact that I can recall every pair of boots, shoes and sandals alike. And I've never had a pair return, sir. Well, in that case, you could be of help.
tell me, have you ever made any boots or shoes with this sign on the heel? Oh yes, I remember these all right. Four pairs I had to make, all different sizes and all with that odd sign on the heel. Must be the secret lodge, that's what I reckon. A secret lodge? Which secret lodge? Well I don't know, do I? It's supposed to be a secret. Hmm, interesting. Well, can you remember who ordered them? Ah well now, that's where it all gets interesting, see? The order itself was actually handed to the old blind fellow who cages at the end of entry row. He in turn was told to give the order to one of the street urchins who then brought it to me. A strange thing though, when the urchin brought the order to the shop, it felt as if he had somebody with him. I swear I could hear them breathing, but the lad was alone, all but his shadow. Ah, so the old blind man had no idea he'd handed him the order for the boots. No sir, all he could say for sure was that whoever it was had the smell of death and the smell of the paddock about him. Hmm, interesting. Detective, uh, I say detective, we found another one. Can you hear me? Who's responsible for these terrible things? Well, it'll be that old soul taker, I figure. Ah, oh, well, that's that solved then. What you want here, stranger? I have nothing to say to you, nor any of your secret friends. What do you mean, secret friends? You all think I don't know what's going on, but I see. I see all even with me burnt out eyes. Oh yes, I see all. Now be gone from this place, and take your dark secrets with you. But I don't understand. I have no secrets nor secret friends. I'm just trying to stop the Soul Taker and put an end to this horror. It's true, Father. He is no Soul Taker. The Mayor himself asked him for his help. The Mayor? What Mayor have we now? He hides away in his chambers. Rarely do we see him, and when he is to be seen, why, he covers up like some frightened leper. The Mayor has changed, I tell you, and not for the better. You said that you see all. What exactly did you mean by that? Perhaps you'd better be off. Talk to those two brothers. As thick as thieves they are, and as bad as vipers be. Which two brothers? The Scourge brothers, of course. Danny and Billy. They keep the stable down away, and an old rabbit wire to boot. Now go. I've had me fill of you. Well, anyway, thanks for your time. It was a big help. Hmm. Interesting. A big hell. Mm. Well, at least I think it was. Well now, what can I do for you, sir? Uh, I'm not really sure. What sort of pies do you have? Well, the disc pies, sir. Yes, but what sort of pies? Meat pies, sir, and of the best quality, I can assure you. Well, I'm sure, but what type of meat? Well, it's just meat, sir. Just meat, you say? Um... Let me ask you, do you sell many pies? 
you know, I have a feeling I know the answer to this one. Well, no, sir, not as such. Fact is, I've never sold so much as one. Be honest, I can't even give them away. You mean you can't even give them away? Well, sir, every morning I sell my good and wholesome pies at the foot of the mayor's statue, just in case any poor lost soul should feel might peckish. Strange, though. Nobody ever takes one, so every afternoon I'll bring them all back into the shop and put them on display. So, uh, when did you actually make these pies? Well, that would have been when I first got here, you see. I seem to remember acquiring some meat from the old abattoir and making up a fresh batch. Mind you, how long ago that was I couldn't say. Not much call to keep track of time round here really. I mean it's not like we were ever likely to go anywhere else now is it? Hang on a minute, you must be that detective fella. So, have you caught it yet? The taker I mean. Uh, no, no, not yet but I am working on it. Then may I offer some words of advice that may or may not be of help to you? Well, yes. Please do. Who do you know that likes to collect things, eh? There are those who aspire towards the ultimate goal, seven from limbo for one living soul. Now, I think it's best that you get on. You still have a soul taker to catch. Yes, of course, and thank you, madam. What a charming lady. And so helpful. Hmm. Interesting. He's not about. Urgent business with the mayor. Perhaps I could be of service, Mr. Detective. No, thank you. I'm just looking. Scourge is the name. Danny Scourge. Maybe you've heard of me. And my brother Billy. Ah, Scourge. Now, you would be the brothers that own the abattoir and the stables, I believe. Neither of which are open, I've noticed. Well, there ain't much call for good quality meat round here. We just use it for storage nowadays. And the odd old knees up, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh dear. So tell me, Mr. Scourge, do you or your brother ever let out the abattoir or stable to anybody? For storage purposes, I mean, of course. <coughs> oh, God, blimey, nearly had my lungs up then. Well, I wouldn't know about that. My big brother takes care of all that sort of thing. I just sort of help him out here and there. Know what I mean? In fact, he says that I'm, um, uh, oh, yeah, an, an integral part of the business and says that what I don't know can't cause me no harm. And I'm sure he's right. So where is your brother today? He has urgent business with the mayor. Ah, I see. It must be very important business indeed. So how come you're not there? Well, someone's got to keep an eye on this place, ain't they? I mean, you never know who might come in. Hmm. Yes, of course. Well, I must bid you good day, Mr. Scourge and thank you for your time. My pleasure, Mr. Detective. Now, you're sure nothing takes you fancy before you go? Well, not just at the moment, Mr. Scourge, but perhaps another time. Hmm, interesting. Whoa. Well, either she can't spell, or she's trying to tell us something. Yeah. 
your business here, sir. I'd like to speak to the mayor. His worship is very busy and may not be disturbed. Ah, but I'm here on official business concerning the very capture of the Soul Taker. I must talk with the mayor and inform him of my progress thus far. Well, I don't have a real suspect yet, but what I do have is a theory. Oh, a theory, eh? Well, tell me more, my lad. Well, sir, I believe this to be the work of more than one person. In fact, I would go so far as to say a group of people. Four, at the very least. What? What's that you say? A cult? Well, nip it in the butt, man. Well, I didn't exactly say cull. Find the ringleaders, and the rest will come crawling from the woodwork. Well, off you go, detective. No time like the present. No time to lose. Hmm. Interesting. Excuse us, Mr. Mr. Detective. We're sorry to bother you. Especially as you are, obviously... In mid-sleuth. It's just that we thought it was best to... Introduce ourselves, you know. Make you aware of who we are and what it is we do. For these poor unfortunate... Individuals... individuals Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Dugood at, at your, your service. service. Now look, monsters I can cope with. Demons I can handle. Savage, red-eyed hell dogs, bring them on. But bloody do-gooders, well that's all I need. Let's get back to sleuthing, shall we? Well, it was nice to meet you both, but I really must get on. Absolutely, detective. Off you go. And don't worry about him. We'll, we'll take, take good, good care, care of him. Of him. wants to talk to you. He said he has something to tell you. Okay then, let's go and see him. Ah, but first tell me, was it you who threw the snowball with the message inside? <laughs> My father wrote the message, but I made the snowball and I got you with the first shot. <laughs> well, come on then, let's go and see your father. Well, according to my young friend here, you have something you'd like to tell me? I will not say much. For those that do, it seems they soon lose their souls. At the end of this lane, out of sight of the eye, there is an unbeaten track. Find and walk this path. There you will make good and sound advice. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate your time. Now go. Time is running out for you and for the very soul of Darkmere. Entrevue, Monsieur Detective. So, how did you know that it would be me at the door? Monsieur, am I not a mystic? 
Am I not most formidable at my job? Well, I hope so. You see, I was told that you could help me, but of course, you already knew that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So, can you help me find the soul taker? Mon Dieu, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Do not say those two words within this house. Shadows may seek even this place. Hey, come on. Give her a chance at least. So, what is it that you see? Monsieur Detective, I shall tell you. But only once. Look again at the wall. You may progress further. Left, right and centre. Then on to the truth. Yes, but which wall? That is all I have for you, Monsieur. Bon chance and adieu. Merci, Madame. You have been most helpful. Au revoir. Hmm. Interesting. Detective, uh, I say detective, we found another one. It's Mrs. Hudson. She must have been caught on her wares while setting out her pies. Of all the folk in Darkmere, it had to be poor Mrs. Hudson. Help dippity dog, Mr. Briggs. I tell you, I never seen nothing like this in all my years in this here Darkmere. Is this exactly how you found the body? Yes, sir. I ain't touched nothing, sir. A cork. Mrs. Hudson's chef's hat. Hmm. A key. Is that a clue, detective, sir? It may well be, my friend. It just may well be. Hmm, interesting. Excellent. Excellent. Hmm, interesting.
again, is it, miss? Hmm. Now that's interesting. <sighs> Listen, I think you may have dropped these. I believe these are your spectacles. What? You come round for some more, you say? Huh. Don't think I've got any more. What is it again? No. These are your glasses. I beg your pardon. I'll have none of that language in this shop. These, are they yours? Now look, I've told you once. No, these are your glasses. All my life, I've been looking everywhere for them. Ah, now that is much better. Thank you very much, miss. And is there anything else I can do for you? No. Thank you, madam. You've done quite enough. Interesting. done to you and why for goodness sake <laughs> Yourself a flagon of the inn. I've no more need of you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Tally Boy. I'll see you up a bit later. I'm just gonna give them old nags of ours a nose bag. And then I'll probably join you for a job. Ha ha ha. Horses for courses, me old son. Horses for courses. Aha. Of course. That's what the creature was trying to tell me. Interesting. This seems to be some type of crematorium. Wow. The smell of burning flesh is very strong here. Well, at least we know now why the snow isn't cold, don't we? Well, I think we should get back to Darkmere and wind this case up. And if I'm right, we don't have much time until the Taker strikes again. And my guess is the Registrar is next. Jailer? I would like you to summon all of the good citizens of Darkmere to a meeting inside the town hall immediately. What, all of them, sir? Yes, Jailer, my good man. Every last one of them. But, sir... You may tell them that Detective Briggs is about to unveil the Soul Taker of Darkmere, and any that do not attend will be assumed as guilty as the Taker itself, and therefore punished as befits. Yes, sir, Detective, sir. Well, wish me luck. Hmm. Did any of you good people think to question the snow? Now I've come far in this world, from the dungeons of Grunger to your very own Darkmere. But no matter how fantastic things have appeared, there has always been a reason and a rhyme for each of them. You see, there is no snow falling upon Darkmere. All that falls from this sky are the stark white remains of the burned and forgotten soulless ones. Let me explain, good folk of Darkmere. Who among you can remember when the so-called snow first began to fall? Does it not seem more than a coincidence that the snow began to fall as the first poor victims also began to fall at the hands of the Soul Taker? And have you never asked yourselves where the Taker came from and why here in Darkmere? A Soul Taker, as you may or may not know, is a malevolent shadow a shapeless, formless child, spawned with the four dark generals. But a soul taker is not free to roam the realms of limbo at will. No. A soul taker must be summoned, and a price must be paid for the summoning of such a creature. So, who would be prepared to perform such a rite? And more to the point, to what aims? Among the good people of Darkmere, there exists, shall we say, a secret society. 
Ah, but this is no charitable group of prominent citizens anonymously aiding the needy. No, this is an evil, greedy, corrupt society whose lust for wealth and power means that they will stop at nothing to get what they want. The society meet in the small hall at the end of Dagger Lane. It consists of four members, one of which they consider the High Priest, or perhaps I should say, Priestess. What do you think, Miss Blackley? Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, of course, Miss Blackley. You can't hear me, can you? And I'm sure you can barely see me also. Mr. Scourge, how nice to see you. Ah, there he is. The landlord of the very aptly named Inut Sins. A fine upstanding citizen, as I'm sure you'll all agree. Take a good look at these people, ladies and gentlemen. These people that you know and recognize. Take a good look. For what I'm about to tell you, will not sit well. Within this world that is neither here nor there, there is one thing that you all have in common. One thing left that you can at least treasure. Your own soul. Now, the Keeper has given each of you your own soul bottle. And it's up to you to keep it safe. Ah, but these souls are not just precious to you. There are those that collect and trade in the souls of others. With each stolen soul comes a little more power. Since my arrival in Darkmere, I have been given and found many clues. Some helpful, some not so helpful, but all relevant. I took a charcoal rubbing from the door at the end of Dagger Lane and I took it to the shoemaker, who confirmed that he'd made four pairs of boots, all with the very same symbol on the heel. The design for the boots was handed to the blind beggar, who in turn took it to the shoemaker. The blind beggar stated that the messenger had the smell of death about him, also the smell of the fields, hay in fact. I do believe that Mr. Scourge here is the proud owner of an abattoir and a stable. Two odors that would certainly match that description. I also found strands of hay on and around some of the victims. Miss Blackley. Ah, yes. Of course, you're a little on the deaf side. Oh, and I see that you need to wear glasses. These I found at the scene of the crime. I recognized them because I'd seen Miss Blackley wearing them earlier. And then it struck me, why would anyone, so partially sighted, go without her glasses? These, I believe, belong to you, Miss Blackley. You foolishly left them at the shoemakers. You took them off, of course, in able to look for the design with your perfectly good eyes. Now, the pair that you're wearing now, I took from the shop of Onegas. Let's face it. Anybody who genuinely relies on spectacles will know immediately their own pair from another. What? Never heard so much rubbish in all my life. Heard, did you say, Miss Blackley? And without the aid of a trumpet. Now, for those of you who cannot see, this is a stopper, a plug, a cord. You will find these in any inn or tavern. Plug in the necks of those fine jugs of ale. A good landlord will always have a number of bees about his person. Now this one I found on the ground next to the dear old pie lady. A lady, I might add, who offered up two significant pearls of wisdom. The first was a question. Who do you know that likes to collect things, she asked. The second, a simple but telling saying. There are those who aspire towards an ultimate goal, seven from limbo for one living soul. A note had been passed to me that led me to investigate the Inn of Sins. Now you may be surprised to learn that beneath the inn there is a secret passage. In one direction, 
The passage lead directly to a spot beneath the very meeting place of the secret society. But in the other, it leads directly beneath the statue of the mayor. There were no footprints beside the pie lady, because the soul taker's accomplice, on this occasion, only had to stretch out from the opening to retrieve the soul. But as he did so, something slipped from his pocket. Yours, I believe. And finally we come to my old friend Onegas. Onegas and I have crossed paths before. He's a collector, you know. He just loves to collect things. He has a special room. Oh, not here in Darkmere, but down in the lower echelons. That is where he keeps his collection, safe and away from drying eyes. I've been inside that room, and I've seen them. Row upon row of souls labeled and filed and ready for the highest bidder. You know, he once questioned me on the whereabouts and the safety of my own soul, my living soul. Now, where's yours, I wonder? Yes, sir. The Taker is here. It sits among us. Ladies and gentlemen, that poor featureless creature that you see there has for some time been a captive, shackled and chained, locked in the stables, far away from the public eye. As you can see, the flesh from his face has been carefully removed, perhaps by an expert slaughterman. Ladies and gentlemen, this poor faceless creature is none other than your very own mayor. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your soul taker. when summoning and meddling with the great powers of darkness, as our four conspiring friends have discovered. People of Darkmere, the Soul Taker has been banished. Your mayor has been returned. Where are you going? Are you leaving us? Yes, I'm afraid I probably am. My father said, but thanks to you, the snow has stopped. Who do you think you are throwing your weight around like this? Okay, I get the message.
Hello? How do I get across? Are you okay? What? Who is this trespasser? What is he doing walking around my lovely creation? If he hurts her, I will. Wait here, Jeff Roby, old fella. He could help us out of this mess. Yes, you're right, he could. Hello? Hello? Janet, are you? Wave if you can hear me. Oh, okay. Good. Now listen carefully. The place that you are now in is the machine. It gives power to the whole of the key. But she's gone into lockdown because of a fault and I need to fix her. Well, I hope you're getting all this. I, I need the bridge extended so I can get over to you and fix her heart before the Dark Ones return. Now, firstly, I need to repair the track near Tower 5. Once you've done that, come back and I'll tell you more. Hey, Speedy! Get a move on!
What's, What's taking, taking you, you so, so long? long? Take all of your belongings with you. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewery. Hey, Speedy! Get a move on! Oh, good. You done that then? About time. Well, next you have to ride the train from the towers to light them up. See, the track is a circuit and the train carries the electric charge. You have to go full circle, okay? I just wish he would shut up. Don't worry, baby. Daddy will fix you soon, don't you worry. If a job's worth doing, it's worth sending on slow cut. You take all of your belongings with you. We hope you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railways and, uh, well, you know, we get you there. Eventually. Great! Oh, you're taller than I thought. <laughs> I need you to get something to patch her up with. Once this is done, she'll be on full power and the exits will open. I'll meet you at the heart room. Oh, and please hurry up. Take all of your belongings with you. We hope yeah, you've enjoyed your travelling with Rack the Brewing Railway. And, uh, well, you know, we'll get you there. Eventually.
very dark down here. <gasps> what? going on? I can't see a thing. And he's had his downs He's had his smiles And he's had his frowns But I still say he should be crowned The King of Limbo Oh, what more can a poor boy do Working for the likes of me and you What more can a poor boy say But I could use your help in any way He took his courage if it were me, I would turn to drink. <coughs> oh, well, that's the reason I think he should be the, uh, the uh, king of limbo. Yeah, he had to be the king of sins, but at least he kept his legging him. I think that we should be crowning him the king of limbo. Take it away with you, baby. Cool. Oh, 
walk, more can a poor boy do? Working for the likes of me and you. What more can a poor boy say? But I could use your help in any way. We've all had fun, you must agree. Even though interactively, but now we feel that Rick should be the king of limbo. A doo-wops, a doo-be-doo-wops, a doo-wops, a doo-be-doo-wops, a doo-wops, a doo-be-doo-wops, the king of limbo. A doo-wops, a doo-be-doo-wops, a doo-wops. A dooby doo wops, a doo wops, a dooby doo wops, King of Limbo. Interesting. 